So Black Monday is underway, and the Minnesota Fighting Vikings, wow, wow, they're coming in hot, announcing that they have ripped off the Band-Aid, fired head coach Mike Zimmer, which was expected, and GM Rick Spielman. So that's a bit of a shock. Now, everyone and their mom expected Zimmer to be fired, but Spielman, I mean, maybe they retained Spielman, maybe they would have promoted him, but no, straight up fired. So it is time for a new beginning in Minnesota. So it's so hard to say goodbye to Rick Spielman. Pouring a little bit out for Ricky. We'll pour some out for Zim. Nah, we'll, we'll save the Hendricks. It's good stuff. But what's amazing is, so Vikings fans, usually they, they give ownership a lot of guff, right? They give them a lot of stick. But Zimmer and Spielman were extended through 2023. And firing them, you have to pay them out. You have to pay uh, 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 Zimmer's coaching staff out. You have to pay out uh, Spielman's scouting staff once they move on from them. Then you have to hire a new head coach, a new GM, and all their staffs. So this is not a half measure by ownership, and I love it. I love it, man. They're just coming out, putting on the table, and saying, hey, we've loved you guys for the last couple years, uh, almost a decade with Zim, almost two decades with Spielman, but uh, this wasn't good enough. This is a results-oriented league, and 8-9 and this year, 7-9 and last year ain't good enough. We have not been above 500 since uh, 2019. We've missed the playoffs three out of the last four years. This is not acceptable. So, fans should love this man like the the wilfs are putting their money where the mouth is and they want to win like this was not good enough and as we always say on here do not let good be the enemy of great and respect vikings ownership did not do that but rick spielman i admit i was like rick spielman i was thought that the vikings roster was full of talent did he ignore the offensive line at times yes but Recently, they've made up for it, spending first and second and third round picks on the O-line. I think eventually uh, that's going to be a very solid unit going forward. But, man, he, he's been around uh, for a lot of people, younger Vikings fans especially. Like, he has been their GM. You're drafting Adrian Peterson and Sidney Rice and Everson Griffin and Christian Ponder and Brian Robinson and Justin Franken Jefferson and Kendricks and Harrison and Barr. Like, he was... The Vikings, you know, growing up for younger players, uh, or younger fans, signing Lindvall, signing Kirk Cousins, which was the correct decision at the time, drafting Teddy, and then Teddy's knee, uh, socially distancing from his body, trade. We are not trading per, uh, Percy Harvin at this time. Uh, we, we have no intent on trading Stephon Diggs, or we have all intentions that he's going to be a Minnesota Viking next year. Give me all the seventh round picks you have. Trader Rick, he's back at it again. The Bradford trade, the unique, the freaking Gakoy trade. I love Rick Spielman in that him and his staff were very solid in the draft, and he wasn't afraid to gamble. He wasn't afraid to go for the pin, go for the gusto. Sometimes it worked out, sometimes it did not. But at the end of the day, no Super Bowls, no Super Bowl appearances. Uh, but you can say that the parts they should have been more, they should have. Uh, meshed and become better as a whole, but they didn't. And that does come down to coaching, and Spielman did have a hand in that. He selected Leslie Frazier after he was interim head coach in 2011. He selected Mike Zimmer in 2014. And like we've said a bunch, GMs generally don't get to pick a third head coach. They usually don't get three bites at that apple. So, moving on. Now, outside hire, do they stay in-house with Jamal Stevenson, Ryan Mowens? We'll see. Uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll do a whole video on uh, GM candidates. But Zimmer... Yeah, like everyone expected Zimmer to be gone, uh, but overall, he did some relatively good things here. Uh, 74, 59, and 1. He's the third winningest head coach in Vikings franchise history. Three playoff appearances, won two playoff games, won ill-fated NFC title game with a home Super Bowl on the line. Not that I'm still bitter. Not that I'm bitter. But, yes, he did bring discipline back. He brought discipline back. Yeah. Those other players don't know how to act. That's right. In 2014, he laid down the law, and that's what we liked about him initially, his uh, straight uh, straight uh, talk, no guff, that whole thing. Uh, and his double A-gap look on that defense has been popularized. Like, every single team in the league has some version of that now. But, you know, even though the defense was great, I, I never thought that he assimilated and became head coach of the entire team. He was always looking to outsource the offense. When he did have input on the offense, it was run, run, pass, punt, run, run, pass, punt. And then the way that, you know, the way that he handled players, it did bother me at times. Yeah, some guys need a kick in the ass and tough love, but not everyone will respond to that. The way that they handled Daniel Carlson, who's now an all pro uh, kicking in uh, in Las Vegas. How do you do with the Raiders on Sunday Night Football? Pretty good, huh? Pretty, pretty damn good. Or the Sharif Floyd thing, or just, I, I don't know. Uh, but Zimmer was a good head coach, 
I don't think that he was ever going to threaten being a great head coach. The Vikings were not going to win a Super Bowl with him. So I understand why the Wolves moved on at this point. But yeah, it is a new beginning. It is a fresh start for this organization. New head coach, new GM, the two most important parts. Now, the third most important part, what's going to happen with the quarterback? Because the new GM, whether they bring in an outside hire or even promote from within, they were not the final say in signing Kirk Cousins. Rick Spielman was. They were not the final say in extending Kirk Cousins. Rick Spielman was. So uh, his future is up in the air. He's in the final year of his extension, one year, $35 million bucks. Will he be traded? I think that he is a very tradable asset at this point. Look at the Browns. Look at the Broncos. Look at the Steelers. After Big Ben retires, we'll, we'll see. But... Yeah, it's time for a new beginning, just ripping off that Band-Aid, and it's a new day, a new dawn with the Minnesota Fighting Vikings, TCO Performance Center, Bar and Grill. It's going to be a busy day. It's going to be busy, busy, busy. But your thoughts on our thoughts. The Vikings, they do it. They fire Zimmer and Spielman on Black Monday. Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for Daily Vikings Takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value. <laughs>